Hi, it's Paula from Perspicacity again. I vlogged last week and I enjoyed it so much and felt so bad about how the lighting turned out that I decided to take the bonus opportunity again this week and do a vlog. This week Kat asked about our vlogging habits, where we do it, how long we take, things like that. When I started blogging regularly, when I really committed to blogging on a schedule, I was trying to achieve a running goal of running a 5K in less than 30 minutes. I'm still working on that. It's been about two and a half years. So if I hadn't moved on from the, all the different ways I could slowly traverse 3.1 miles, I think I would have lost some people. So I've moved on to other topics. I still consider Sunday night my main blogging night for whatever topic I pick. But I also, on Tuesday nights or into the wee hours of Wednesday, like it was this week, post a wordless Wednesday. And on Thursdays, I respond to a mama cat prompt. I blog anywhere there's a computer. I'm usually in the computer room at our house, but we have a laptop too. Sometimes I'm there. I've blogged at the gym waiting for my son. I've blogged when I first got into my office in the morning before my workday starts. I've blogged in hotel rooms. If there's a keyboard and an internet connection, I'm there. I can figure it out. One thing that's interesting to me is that I started blogging to flex my writing muscle. But as I've continued on, I really find I can't hardly blog without some kind of image that really feeds into my writing, I feel. So I'm always on the lookout for images, and my kids will find me pulling over, taking pictures of things that seem so random, all because I might be able to use this in the blog someday. They love that. Not so much. I have a 14-year-old daughter. As far as how long it takes to write a post, it's a little hard to say because I'm a mom and like you, I end up finding socks, fixing food, cleaning up cat barf. All the myriad of things that interrupt our trains of thought, but probably about half an hour on average. But if I'm messing with images and manipulating images, I can just find that a couple of hours have gone by before I know it in the blogging process. So I enjoy kind of getting lost in that when I can. There's one other thing I want to mention that I have to have for blogging. And if you saw my vlog last week, you know that I had very exquisitely prepared, expensive, no holds barred props. I have one prop this week and it's equally as valuable and I really want to know um, no small expense to, to incorporate this prop into today's vlog. What I really have to have for my blog to work is is you. Without you, my blog is nothing. I'm just talking to the air. So thank you for watching my vlog. I enjoyed the vlogs I saw last week very much and it really amazed me how much better I felt like I knew people whose writing I've been reading for months once I'd heard their voice and seen their environment a little bit. So thank you for that. And what I'd ask you to share in the comment is if you're a blogger who also incorporates pictures, what is the oddest picture you've ever taken with the idea that you are going to eventually incorporate it into a blog or that it might come in handy? So thank you again, and I will see you soon.